Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Uh, today I've been to the car boot sale. Well, I've been to three car boot sales because I can't help myself. Um, didn't buy much, so it's only enough really for one video. Um, but, you know, one's better than none. So, um, what shall we go with? The first thing I bought with this, this boxwood ruler, uh, 36 inch. So I thought that was quite nice, a little 30 inch. I like the wooden rulers because you drop them and they don't scratch anything and they're good for rough working out. I mean, I wouldn't say you, you want to use it for engineering, but just for general woodwork. But I've not seen a 36 inch one before. So I asked the guy, I said, how much for that, my mate? He said, a pound. I thought there's no arguing there. That's cheap for a pound, a nice piece of boxwood. Just needs a rub down and then a little bit of uh, linseed oil or a Danish oil or something that should be nice so that was good Um the next one is I bought off this chap is this little uh, 5 16 to 3 16 um, little um, tap wrench don't know why I bought it really it's nothing special just a little tap wrench so I don't know why I bought that um, and I bought this mic off him Um it says it's been um, calibrated is it December 08? Oh no, December 19. So, 18. So, is that calibrated last year? That seems a bit old to be calibrated last year. Um, it's not a bad one. I think it's more than right, Sheffield. So, I gave him three quid for the two. I don't know why I bought that. I couldn't help. I was just bored and had not bought much. The first car boot was a bit of a washout. That's all I bought. Oh, and I bought some. Um, like PPE or whatever, I'll show you in a bit. Um, the next guy, I bought this sort of quite cool bottle jack, um, Laken Elliot or something, I don't know. Made in England. Looks like it's got a three quarter inch there uh, drive on it. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there with that. I think that should be down there or something. Um, so I think that might need a bit of work. I think that needs to go down there to drive it. Yeah, so anyway, a little bottle jack. Um, um, so, not sure what that's about. But anyway, so I bought this bottle jack off him, this green bottle jack, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, and I bought this Stanley screwdriver um, it's quite a big one. I think it's a number three. Um, and it's quite an old one. I don't know if you can see that. What does it say there? Stanley screwdriver Phillips. Number three, is it? British made. So it's a Stanley 404 screwdriver. Um, and usually these sort of um, brass, uh, these little metal ferrules are always bashed. But well, that brass ferrule looks like quite in good condition since they're made in the UK, made in England. So the brass ferrule's in good order and the handle's not in bad order. You can just about make out the Stanley there. So I think that might come up quite nice with a bit of, you know, a bit of a light sand. So, yeah, so a large Stanley screwdriver. So he wanted 20 quid for that. And I said, I don't think it's right. I think it's broke or whatever. So... He said, all right then, 15. Anyway, and I said, how much do you want for your screwdriver? He said, I want two quid for that. So I gave him 10 for the both. So that was eight and this was two. I wouldn't have chipped him on that because I think that's worth two. It's in good order, that. It's a nice one. Um, so that was that. Um, so the other two thing I bought were these two vices, which is guess of the week. And I saw um, a video from Scrounger's Workshop. Um, and it was um, his vice collection, his two and a half inch vice collection. Uh, let's have a look at that one. That's a three inch and that's a four inch. I'm not doing very well here, but um, I was, I kind of like the way he restored them. So the guy who I bought these off was the same guy I bought the big Parkinson vice off in the workshop. He's sort of the vice guy. He's always got about 10 vices. So this one is um, a warden. Looks like um, looks like it's um, a record, but it's a warden. I wouldn't have bought it if it was a record because they're pretty common. But a warden, a warden vice. 
So John Ledwood would tell me if that's any good. So I bought this warden off him. He wanted pretty good money for it. Um, and then this little smart. Um, and it's kind of good. It's got it's got a pipe vise. It's got quite a wide jaw on it. It's got an anvil. It's got like a like a horn on it. Um, and it looks like a solid bar. So I've not seen that one before. I don't know if it's Chinese even or if it's a decent maker. The handle is like a banana. Absolute like a banana. But I think I might be able to grind off that and then obviously take it off, straighten it and put it back. So they might be restoration projects for the future, which is kind of cool. So that's guess the price this week, um, which is, you know, some, some, so I bought two vices. He wanted X. There was a lot of haggling. He always wants stupid money, that guy. I mean, he, he had quite a lot of me for that Parkinson vice, but I didn't mind it because that was like a seven inch monster. But these little, he said, oh, the little ones are more expensive than the big ones. I said, no, they're not. Don't be daft. And so, um, so we had a big, a big argument over that, but it was a bit of fun anyway. I'll show you what else I picked up off the car boot. Um, there was a pretty decent guy. Um, so I bought these gloves off him, um, pretty decent. These gloves are really handy. I get through so many of these gloves. I mean, I do a lot of home invasions and burglaries and these come really, really invaluable for that. But the problem is, if you're using them for that purpose, they're not tax deductible. So I didn't get a receipt off him because there's no point. You don't get no sympathy with a tax man. So I got four boxes, uh, six boxes of those. Very, very useful for committing crime, those. These are not as useful, but you know, you take what you can get. So I got um, six of those, uh, six packs of those work gloves. They're good on the angle grinder in the workshop, so I was happy with those. A bit of sellotape, and then loads of this double-sided sticky tape, and double-sided I find is quite useful. And then this really high quality, thick, like rug, really thick rug, rug um, double-sided tape for sticking rugs down and stuff. That's always handy. Um, but he said that was a tenner a roll, so I bought two of those. And then this big massive roll of tape, and this is great, you know, when you're doing a bit of decorating to put on the carpet or on the stairs, and it just gives a hardware surface that will get scratched, um, and you can paint right to your skirting boards, and they're just handy. So you just you just peel it, and then it re it re sticks back down to the surface. And I bought these glue sticks off him as well. So all in all, I gave him £32. They were a pound. Um, I gave him a fiver for that roll. Um, I gave him a tenner for the tape, and then he took me that tape and a couple of tapes in. I gave him £4 on the gloves, and I gave him £12 for all those. And that's cheap because I bought three pairs or four packs of the day, and it was like 26, 28 quid. But it's better than going to prison, so you've got to take what you can get. So it's quite. He it was a nice guy. There was a lot of PP there. I was really happy with that. So so um, that's really good. And these these uh, these were actually for scraping chewing gum off. Um, you know, for he had some chewing gum remover, but I've got no use for that. But the scrapers might be handy. They're quite sharp, and like you say, they're just useful for mixing a bit of glue up or epoxy or whatever. They might be quite handy, so I'll stick them in the workshop. So that's it, guys. Just the one video today. Sorry about that. Um, we've got this um, quite cool little smart vice, and then we've got this Warden England uh, 16, 168B or something. Uh, 168, yeah, no, 186. Is that 98? I don't know. Anyway, 186B or something. So, yeah, a um, couple of little restoration projects. I think that's uh, Scrounger's Workshop's fault for that one. All right, thanks very much for watching. Leave your comments below um, and then we'll do the reveal tomorrow and see if anyone's got a, a tick in the book. Alright, thanks again. Bye.